Hello everyone, Tanat Badana here, and today we are back with another brand new tier list on the Jurassic Park series characters. So we have every single main character, that is. So everyone that sort of had a main role, or did a key part in any of the five films so far. And today we're going to be ranking them from the one and only, so there's only going to be the best character, which there is for me. And probably only going to be one as well, terrible characters. Most of the characters in the franchise I'll admit, I'll start off with saying that I do kind of like, I don't really hate any of them, there is a few though, I will admit, but let's begin. So we're going to start off with Ellie Sadler from Jurassic Park 1 and Jurassic Park 3, which actually now that I think about it, Jurassic Park 1 would have just made it like amazing or great, probably amazing, but then Jurassic Park 3 as well, so I'm going to say just great. You know, she's a good character, don't get me wrong, I really liked how she did the Triceratops scene in the film, and then she was one of the main survivors, but then you move her from being great, amazing, sorry, to just great bit from the Jurassic Park 3 bit where she doesn't really do much, but it's nice to have everyone. Um, we're going to save these two, because you can probably guess with most fans, it's either Alan or Ian being number one, so we're going to save those two, two last. We're going to put John Hammond here, as amazing, obviously. Compared to the book, John Hammond, he's really good in the book, but he's meant to be a villain, so he's much more scrawny, he's much more just annoying, and he doesn't redeem himself at the end of the book. I mean, the film, he does redeem himself halfway through, sort of. And in this Lost World, I think he was quite a good addition. You know, he appeared at the start, appeared at the end. And one of my favourite bits in all the films has to be his final speech in the Lost World, as well as the survey line at the end of Dress Park. So we're going to put him in amazing. Definitely, at least amazing. He could even be the one and only, for all I know. Lex Murphy. Um, I'll put his average for now. I might change that to great, but... You know what? She doesn't do... Tons, you're not great because in the book she does absolutely nothing. But what they did, and Tim goes in great as well. If I had to put one of the above the other, it would be Tim and great and Lex and average. But Tim in the book is both the computer genius and the dinosaur genius. But then they smartly gave Lex the ability to actually use computers. Or, I mean, Tim probably could as well, but Lex would hack computers. So that gave Lex more of a purpose rather than just being there in the film. So that was good. Uh, Robin Muldoon, amazing. No one can deny that. Robin will do. I might move into great, but I think amazing is good enough. Amazing character, as I said. Very cool style. I like his style. You know, the hunting, the shooter a bit as well. It's a shame that he died. In the book, he survives. But I think it makes sense for him to die in the film because it shows that you know how smart the raptors are. So it's a nice technique from Spielberg there. Nedry. Great. I mean, I'll say right now, all the Jurassic Park characters are easily above average. They have the best characters in all the series. They're all colourful, they've all got their own personalities, none of them are just bland or boring. But Nedry, yeah, I'm moving to Amazing later, we'll see, we'll see. But great, because, well, obviously, you know, he's got that funny scene with the Lophosaurus, nice character, Wayne Knight does a good job, so mm, great. Uh, Ray Arnold, great again. You know, Samuel L. Jackson does a great job with him. Uh, I mean, amazing only if he had that scene, because it's meant to be a scene where he actually gets killed by the Philostructor on screen, but you only see his arm, so that just puts him in great, to be honest, so it would have been nice if he had that extra scene, but sadly a real-life hurricane actually hit the island. Henry Roo, oh, I think I should even put it, average. Dress Park 1, great, I mean, obviously you'd like to see more of him, like in the book, he actually has a bigger role. I just realised I didn't have Dr. Harding here, but, oh well, if you had a Dress Park the game tier list, that would be good. Um... Doctor Wu in Jurassic World, better. I mean, he actually has a bigger role, I guess. He has a purpose. But Doctor Wu in Jurassic World Kingdom doesn't really do much. I guess it all depends on Jurassic World Dominion, because that could take him from requires to improvement to maybe, who knows, the best villain in the franchise. It's kind of weird to see how he went from just normal geneticist to super villain within just three films. So, Gennaro, Donald Gennaro. Um, in the book, he's a very different character, because in the film, he's a merger of two. But I guess... Not average. I mean, he's not... Actually, no, I'll put him into great. Not average, he's not great, by all means, but... T-Rex scene, always getting eaten was nice, you know. Well, nice for us, not for him. Nick Van Owen? Great. He's got the plan. Because he is the backup plan. I don't know what else you want to say. But I think Nick Van Owen was good. I think it's my favourite role from the actor, I can't remember his name. Vince Vaughan, I think it is, yeah. Uh, Eddie Carr... Average, I know he died probably one of the most horrific deaths, but that's really 
what most people remember him for, to be honest. Um, I'm going to move requires to improvement to just, I want to say forgettable, but that would, yeah, let's change that. Bit of a meta move there, I guess. I guess both forgettable, right? Forgettable, there you go. That name doesn't look right to me, but um, average, you know, he's not really remember for much else, he just dies, I guess it's, it's alright, I guess. Sarah Harding, great, I liked her character, very good, him, her, I should say, her and Ian, especially at the end of Lost World. Kelly, average, I'm not going to put her into, like, forgettable or disliked, or requires improvement or whatever, because, actually, I'll put her in forgettable, I mean, she's not great, but she's not terrible or disliked, in my opinion, she just, you know, alright, oh yeah, I forgot she existed, essentially. RJ, same with him. I'm not sure if many people even know his name's Hodge, but he had a bigger role in that deleted scene. He's a friend of Roland Tempo, I almost forgot his name as well. Um, but yeah, forgettable. Roland Tempo, however, easy, great. Loved his character. I think most people do. You're going to see that there's going to be a lot of characters up here because I can't say, deny, you know, they're great characters. Uh, can't forget his name. I mean, I have forgot his name, I can't remember it. I can't remember it, should have done my research. He's a guy who gets eaten by the snake, by the T-Rex. Or oh, he doesn't get eaten by the snake, he gets scared by the snake, and he's eaten by the T-Rex. I'm going to put him in average. Or oh, forgettable. You know, he's not disliked or terrible, he just... Yeah, Burke, I think it was, so, yeah. Nice funny scene. Nice death. Dita Stark, average. Actually, not great. Yeah, I loved his death. Very nice. You know, the star he does think they're that scary, but then realises they are. Peter Ludlow. Most people think... Kind of forgettable villain, but I don't. I think that he was a good villain. And I'm going to put him into either great or average. I'm going to put him average for now. I like Peter Ludlow. You know, I'm not going to put him into like forgettable, just like, no, I think he's a good villain. The Kirby's. Mr. Kirby. Um, you know what? He isn't actually that forgettable. I'm going to put him average. Amanda Kirby. Average, you know? I don't think they're that bad. I'll admit. So you pretty much all three of this family are just average, you know, they're not just like, oh, ooh, we're the Kirby's, but, you know, there's nothing special about them, but they're just average, I think they're completely trouble. You know what, actually, no, I should be forgettable. Maybe Eric, no, Eric's the most forgettable of all them, to be honest. Uh, Billy, Billy's average, maybe great, but I made the video about Billy's death, if you want to see that. But Billy was, I'm going to say, an okay character, you know, it wasn't that bad. Uh, Udesky. Udesky was kind of forgettable. I won't lie. I mean, he had that death scene, but he's alright. There's no Cooper here, I've just realised, who was Nash's partner here, but that's a shame, because he would have obviously been... If Cooper was here, he could have been the one known, and I'll admit that. Um, but we're going to put Nash as forgettable. He's definitely forgettable. But since I put him as forgettable, I'm going to put Kirby's actually back up here. I don't think they're about that bad, you know. They're just there. Claire, average, you know, I think it was, mm, no, she's not great, she's average, Claire's definitely someone who's average, because she does redeem herself in Fallen Kingdom with the, you know, I used to be all oh, dinosaurs are money, to now dinosaurs are important, their lives should be saved, which is good, and yeah, I think that's right, I mean, I know, I, mean, I think most people agree with me, he's kind of average, you know, it's, it's cool that he's there, but I don't see him as great. He's definitely not forgettable or anything. Disliked. I don't think it's anything that I dislike about his character. Well, maybe a few things, but Owen's alright. Yeah. The kids from Jurassic World who I've come trying to remember now. Zach and Grey. Forgettable. Obviously, they weren't, they weren't as good as Lex and Tim, for example, but I mean, they weren't like Lisa. Well, maybe Grey, I might say, is disliked on me. I know. I just thought he was just. I mean, she likes Grey. This like the Ice Age baby meme, I guess. It's just the unknown dislike for Grey. Zack was okay. Even Zack was kind of disliked on them. No, I'll put him there. Mm, Zara. I think that's the name. That's how forgettable she is. But she's even worse than that. Terrible. Um, she just didn't do anything else other than just being eaten. Which I felt was a bit annoying. I mean, the only other line she says is something about like her friend's birthday party, which just makes it sound posh, which I'm not sure if that's meant to make us hate her. But yeah, terrible. I didn't really see much point. 
You know, Zach, you can dislike. Not that good enough for me. Hoskins, um, own life, get a ball. I mean, his death was expected, I guess, but it's not exactly amazing. I'll admit. Barry, Barry was average. If anything, I might even put him in great. Sorry, Owen, but I kind of like Barry. His character was good. You know, he had a bit of personality to him, unlike, unlike Zara here, but Barry was average, if at, at least, you know. Barry, you could get up to the great tier if you wanted to. Um, Lowry, I think that was the name. You're great. I like Lowry. Comedic. Nice scene at the end. Perfect t shirt, I must say. I have to get my own after asking where he got it from on eBay. Um, Vivian, I think that was her name. How come they have Vivian but they don't have Cooper? Oh, I've got Cooper's name there. Um, forgettable. That's how forgettable she was. I can't remember her name. I'm um, Masrani. Um, average. You know, he could be great. I would like. You know, great. I like something Masrani. Rest in peace, Ifran Khan, the actor, but. Yeah. I'm not sure what else I'm going to say this year. He's great. Um, I like his helicopter scene. You know, he was a nice owner. He was a believable owner. That's one thing. You could see that he was someone who wanted, you know, who John Hammer would trust, I would imagine, to run Jurassic Park. Uh, Benjamin Lockwood, the old man, forgettable. You know, sorry, Miss Lockwood, I mean, you died at the end. And, I mean, to build up for Fallen Kingdom, I'd remember him, but after that, I just forgot him. Maisie. Now, Maisie is either, I think Maisie is forgettable. You know, she's not... I don't get why they added the clone thing, I'll be honest. I'm not sure what purpose it adds. I think it just makes it, the film a bit more longer and confusing, where they could have done other things in the film instead, but maybe she's there. Uh, Iris, I think that was her name, like the butler of the family. Forgettable. I don't really remember much about her. I don't really have an active dislike for her either. Uh, I can't remember this guy's name. He's the auctioner. So the auctioner, I'm going to say disliked. You know, I didn't get... Yeah, I'm just the evil auctioner here. Didn't really do much. He's not that big of a character, I feel. That's the problem. Um, the hunter guy. That's how irrelevant he is. I can't remember his name, but he's terrible. So I've put Fallen Kingdom very, very low on this list, I've just realised. But the film wasn't as bad. I'll make that clear. But it still was definitely my least favourite so far. Uh, can't remember your name, sorry. Um, but you're... You know, dislike, you just kind of forget her. I know some people disliked her, but yeah, I just forgot about her, to be honest. This guy, people complain he screamed too much. I don't know. I hope in the next film, if, he, in, if in Dominion, he gets more of a role, I definitely think he can be moved up from forgettable to somewhere like average or great, you know? But I don't think he was that big of a deal. And I can't remember any of the Fallen Kingdom characters' names. It might just be because I haven't seen the film in quite a while, but. The villain from Fallen Kingdom disliked. He had a goodish ending, I guess, but I feel like. I don't know, could have been better. There have been better villains, like my favourite villain, probably, actually. We're looking at this chart, definitely. Uh, Pete Ludlow. So, before I actually move one of my favourites up there, I'm looking over here, I'm trying to think is there anyone I can maybe bump up to any other list? Gonna move. This might have been quite a long video, I'm just checking the time right now, and nah, it's alright. I say that, but probably something you're bored right now. Um, I'm gonna move... Kelly. No. Udesky. Udesky's average. Udesky, you're cool. You can say that. Then we're also gonna move... Amazing Tear. You know what, Ellie? I'll give you the benefit of the doubt there. Dita? No, you're not great. I mean, you're not amazing, you are great, sorry, Dita. But you're not amazing. Nedry, no, you're okay where you are. Can't remember his name again. Rowan Tembo, you're okay, great. Yeah, I think that's okay. I'm gonna stick with that. And now we're gonna do the big reveal of Alangor. One and only. I can't deny that. I mean, I've actually preferred The Lost World as a sequel. Obviously, Ian's gonna go into amazing. But I felt that. I like Alan Grant more, especially in Jurassic Park. I think like he does more in Jurassic Park 3 compared to Ian, because when I think of why the reason Lost World is my favourite film, it's not because, oh, Ian Malcolm's back, it's because just it's a good film. And I felt like Ian doesn't actually do it as much as he does. I think Ian does more in Jurassic Park 2 than Jurassic Park 1, I'll admit. But, yeah, I prefer Alan as a character, he just does more. I mean, Ian's monologues of philosophy and science are good and all, but that hat, you just can't beat that hat.
So, thank you very much for joining me, everyone. As you can see, we've got sort of a pyramid scheme going here. Hopefully, I don't get in trouble for that, but we have ourselves a dress park tier list. And it appears actually, well, this isn't more of a dislike. This is a dislike. This is just forgettable. So, if I can't really remember any of these characters that much, but these are the average characters. Which I can remember and I don't really mind, you know, they're, they're cool. Um, so, yeah, thank you very much for joining me. If you'd like to see any more tier lists, please tell me in the comments down below. Any more Diamond Brawls, any more games, any more anything. I'll do it. To an extent, obviously, I'll do it, but I'll try and find a way. And if you ha have any agreements, disagreements with my suggestions, or, or not the only my suggestions, they're just my opinions, please tell me in the comments below. I definitely will care about them and not disregard them. Um, so thank you very much for joining me, once again, I'll probably say that for the third time, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.